I am uh, Gullapalli Rao, uh, Chairman of LV Prasad uh, Institute, uh, an organization that is uh, headquartered in Hyderabad but has uh, extensive presence in the states of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Odisha. LV Prasad I Institute was founded a little over 29 years ago with the simple vision of reconciling excellence with equity. Same quality care to all people irrespective of their socio-economic status, whether they pay or don't pay. And we are fortunate that we have been able to implement it without any reservation till date. It is a six component functional structure covered by a five tier structural model. Patient care, education, research, rehabilitation of irreversible blind, large segment of rural and community eye health and product development are the six functional components. And the five structural tiers range from rural community care to primary care to secondary tertiary and advanced tertiary care. So we take care of everything that happens in the eye. And everything that we do, we have three things service, education and research. Throughout our journey, we have been different in many ways from the traditional approaches. Starting from the initial concept of comprehensive eye care to all people at the inception, to many educational programs that specifically meet the requirements of eye care in our country and other developing countries to research, to innovate models of delivery going from ICAM kind of approach to segmenting the care into multiple levels of primary, secondary and tertiary and creating permanent infrastructure with well-trained human resources has been our model. Nearly 19 million people were touched so far by our direct services. And our direct services cover in the rural areas around 2,000 villages providing high quality eye care. In terms of tertiary care, we cover the entire population, I guess, because people from all over India come to us and a number of other neighboring countries. So each day, for example, we cover, touch 5,000 people at the least through our various programs. Equally important is the arm of education where we look at the needs in the field of eye care throughout the developing world. Our focus is developing world because that's where most neglected populations live. So we create programs that meet those needs in the developing countries. So we have at any given point about 500 trainees from all over the world on our campuses from ophthalmologist to the field workers working in the remote rural areas. We also have students pursuing PhD in various basic research areas. And in research we cover most important components of eye care that are relevant to countries like India. And our publication track record has been quite good. And ours is one of the most productive eye research units in the world today. For example, last year alone we published 254 papers in top tier peer reviewed journals. Our eye banking we are very proud of. We are the first international standard eye bank anywhere in Asia. And we are now the biggest. And we are one of the five biggest in the world. And in terms of a rehabilitation of incurable blind. We were the first eye institute when we started it to integrate that as an essential component of an eye institute. 
So in all these ways and in the rural segment we have now located in 150 different areas of the three states of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Odisha. The biggest such network anywhere in the world. This pyramidal model of eye care delivery has been adopted by the World Health Organization, the International Agency for Prevention of Blindness and the Government of India in addition to many other countries and many other international NGOs. We have been involved in the capacity building of a lot of organizations in the world and over 200 eye care organizations in India and organizations in 16 countries outside have partnership with us. So we are a global organization today with impact touching directly or indirectly nearly 2 billion population. So we are very happy with our track record. We are very gratified that we have been able to make this kind of difference. And as we look forward, we thought we should get into the technology innovation. That's why we are seeing this innovation center which was started in the recent past. Technology innovation is important because to access technology for early diagnosis of eye disease and treatment is extremely expensive as it stands today. The vision behind this innovation center is to get the best of technologies available to the poorest of the people in the world and get them the benefit of that technology for early diagnosis and appropriate treatment so that a lot of blindness can be averted. That's where we are today and we are, as we look forward to the next 25 years of our, of our institute journey, we are looking at many other things. One concept that we started two years ago is the project Next 25. And in that the primary thing is creating some institutes of excellence. And we are on that journey right now, covering areas of focusing on children's care, special effort and providing care for the elderly population because that population is increasing in size in our countries. Efforts at enhancing education standards in eye care and ophthalmology professionals across the country and the world. Then creating new areas of eye regeneration, stem cell work, etc. So these are some of the things that we are looking at and also focused on cancer in children. Another signature feature of our institute is a problem called retinopathy of prematurity in premature newborn babies. These people develop a particular retinal problem if not detected early and treated early can lead to blindness. We have set up a complete surveillance of every neonatal unit in the twin cities of Hyderabad and Sikandrabad and we have become the first cities in the country to have 100% such surveillance for these babies. And we also have done the capacity building in, a, in that area for all the government hospitals in these states. So this has been our journey. We are very one of the 16 World Health Organization collaborating centers in the prevention of blindness one of the three global resource centers for the Global Blindness Prevention Program called Vision 2020, the right to sight. And we are engaged with them in addition to these things in advocacy, in planning, both at national and global levels, and also in policy related to eye care. Global impact wise, uh, as I said, we are one of the three resource centers for the Global Prevention of Blindness program. We have worked in 16 countries in the capacity building of eye care organizations. We have trained probably our professionals from just about uh, many, many developing countries all over the world who went back to their countries have become leaders in eye care, are bringing about a difference in the quality of care in those communities. Through our research, we have uh, produced some new, new findings and discoveries that is helping. So this is the way we have been able to impact. At a national impact, we have uh, trained nearly 20,000 eye care professionals through various 
courses and teaching programs. We have created a high standards for the Indian Journal of Ophthalmology. We started the Indian Eye Research Group, which has become the National Eye Research Organization now. We started, we promoted the creation initially of the Eye Bank Association of India, which has working on expanding and improving eye banking in the country. So in so many ways, we have been able to do our part to contribute to the eye health of our countrymen in India, as well as many people living in the developing world. Yeah, in future, we are, we have decided to stay within these three states as much as possible, unless there is a unique opportunity and we have been able to capitalize on that and consolidate what we do, go deeper, continue to raise the bar and constantly work towards excellence. And we are creating these centers of excellence, institutes of excellence as we call them. The first one such big example is the Konya Institute we inaugurated about seven months ago called Tej Kohli Konya Institute, supported by uh, entrepreneur billionaire philanthropist Mr. Tej Kohli, uh, living in the United Kingdom. And with that, we want to create a global resource center for cornea problems. And we hope through the efforts of that institute, between now and 2030, we will make a significant dent on the problem of corneal blindness in the world. That's one such example. Similarly, we have Child Sight Institute, Institute for Eye Care for the Elderly, supported by Arbindo Laboratories. And then we are creating a center of excellence for eye banking to raise our harvesting of corneas to the level of 10,000 by the year 2020. So these are all some of, the, some of the initiatives that we are engaged in. And of course, our relentless effort to touch the last person living in the remotest areas of these three states will continue. Because ultimately, I think, unless we touch those people and make a difference for them in the area of eye health, I don't think we can justify our existence.